Okay. What we fixing to do is we fixing to cook this beaver. Show you how to doctor him up. We're gonna put him on that grill. We caught him this morning. He's been soaking in this water. We had a little bit of ice on it, keeping it cold. The ice has done melted, obviously. This is pretty much whole beaver. We're gonna cook him just like that. don't know if the whole thing will fit on this small grill. This grill's not that big. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what seasoning I'm going to put on. Obviously, this seasoning is going to be to your taste. You're going to probably like things different than what I like. So keep that in mind. Don't think this is the only season that I think is going to work. This is just what I like. I like Dale, Tom, love lemon pepper. It clumps up bad, but I bite the big container. Italian dressing, and we just use a cheap brand. Got some garlic salt. Now, if you're not familiar with Tony Satchers, that's just the old red top. You know, they got different color tops for different flavors. I like the, the hot. This Dale's, that's good stuff, man. All right, now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this, I'm thinking about, let me see if he's going to fit on it. No, so we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to cut him in half, okay? Y'all wait, y'all wait right here, I'm going to go get a knife. I'm gonna cut him right about here. So I might have should have got a hatchet. No. I'm convinced everything can be done. Nah, it's too barking. I just simply didn't want to uh, hurt my hand. My little my little tender pottery hand. Okay. Now, I didn't actually clean this up. I'm going to cut all of that out. It ain't going to hurt nothing if you leave it in there. I just wanted to feed the dog something. And they probably ain't enough meat on them ribs to be saving. But what I'm after is this strip of meat up the back right here and these legs mainly. So that's why I'm going to. And I do cook some stuff in these pans right here. Oh. Uh, but now, I'm not today because I don't want it to. I do it more like a roast when I do that. Okay, now I'm gonna put my liquids on here first. Now, I, I use my stuff pretty liberal. Maybe not liberal to some, but that's, that's strong stuff now. I'm telling you, it's strong stuff, but it's good. i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Flip it all around, roll it around in that, and get to make sure that's make sure that's all on that. Now, what I'll do is what's left in this pan when I get done doing this, I'll probably pour into a smaller bowl, and I'll open that grill up and brush it on there later on. So I'm not gonna be like wasting it. I know y'all look like I'm I'm just wasting a bunch of stuff. I'm too stingy to waste anything. Tell you. Okay, we got them two on there. Now this stuff will clump up bad on you. You have to kind of, and I tell you what I'm bad about that. I think that's what I'm gonna do, being I wash my hands. I'm gonna get me a handful. I can kind of, cause it clumps up bad. But 
it don't matter if it clumps up. It's gonna, it's gonna cook down to what I want it when I get it in there. And I like garlic salt. And garlic powder works good. If you don't need a lot of salt, you might use garlic powder. Oh, Tony. Tony, he's a good old fellow now. Them boys down there in Louisiana, I know some of y'all would have put way more than that on there. And I'm okay with that. I, I like to put a lot on mine, too, sometimes. But, my wife, she kind of likes beaver. And my daughter, too. So we may, uh, I may not put as much this time. I don't really like running my fingers off down in my stub, but being I'm handling it anyway, and I'm gonna be the one eating it. I ain't at no restaurant. All right. That's about the gist of what we're gonna use. Set all that up there. As y'all can tell, I had to kind of homemade my grate on my grill there. The one that I had made, I didn't use stainless steel like I did my big grill up there. But now I'm cooking down here in my uh, shed, and I didn't see them spider webs up there till just now. I need to get a, a cloth. I doubt they're gonna really hurt anything at this point, but I don't like the look of them up there. Okay. Now we got this on there, but anyway, my grill, it, it cooked till it got some holes in it. And this is my little tailgate grill, really. And I can sit out here on this table. I like it. Oh, uh, cause it's small. And the thing about this small one, I can keep it, I can keep it, the heat right in it. I just, because I've cooked on it a good bit. But now while I'm down here working, turn y'all around where y'all can look at me in the face while I'm talking at you. While I'm down here uh, working in my pottery shed, I can keep an eye on this, and that's why I'm cooking down here and stood up there on the porch. And uh, plus, I got scolded. I can't be going in and out the house because my little boy's laying in the floor asleep. So I wake him up. I probably have to move. But anyway, we got this on there, and uh, we're gonna watch it for a little while. I'm gonna uh, see how much of this. There's a good bit of that left. What I'm gonna do is get me a. I, I got one of them little marinade brushes and I'll put this on there, but I may put it in a bottle and kind of where I can squirt it up in there. We're gonna figure something out, but anyway, we're gonna cook this beaver up. It's gonna be good. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. All right, it's starting to get a little color to it. I'm thinking about turning it over. This grill is going to cook a little slow, which is what I want personally. Let's flip this over. Oh, yeah. It's going to take this a little while. We've been on here about, uh, I'm going to say 30 minutes maybe. You can see that's starting to cook up good. But now I've got more heat on this end of the grill because the air is coming in on this end. So uh, I'm gonna turn this around this way. But now we're gonna uh, we're gonna let it cook on a little while. Uh, one more thing here. I hope you can see it in there pretty good. Turn that camera with the light shine, but I got that seasoning I was showing you in this jar. I got my brush here. I can reach up in there. Keep that good flavor all up on that.
when you're skinning these out, make sure now that you cut all these musk glands out of this stuff. It'll make a drastic difference. <laughs> I've had some people tell me all beaver ain't no good to eat. Find out when they skin it, they left one of them in there when they cooked it, and that ruined the taste of their meat. So just keep that in mind if you decide to cook one. They pretty, if you know much about skinning anything, you can find them pretty easy. All right, we're gonna let it cook a little while longer. Still got a ways to go, but it's cooking. Now I went and put my headlamp on. Maybe it won't mess with the focus of the camera too much. I got this flipped over right here again. Lay that right there and keep it warm. That way it'll burn my hand. But we're gonna baste it one more time. We want this seasoning down in there real good. And there ain't no need of, of saving it for nothing. It'll be... Next time I get ready to use this, if I kept that, I wouldn't know what it was when I went to use it. It'd get thawed out. So might as well just put it all on him real good. It'll get down in there and make that flame up real good and burn that. That's what'll happen. Ben's I'm trying to film, it'll probably something bad go wrong. Turn out awful. Right now though, everything's going really well. I'll probably take this big prod right here. That's what we call a prod. It's a skewer really, but I call it a prod. I like it. See that flaming up back there? That, you have to make sure that's out when you get through that grease and oil in this stuff. I'm trying to spin this around where I can, uh, where I can get all of it. I'm gonna pull that back. That way it just don't burn it while I'm sitting here. Y'all look how good that looks. You can't tell me that don't look fit to eat. Man, this gonna be I didn't mean to I didn't mean to blind y'all and shine that light up in your face. That's the curse of a headlight. When you look at somebody to talk to them, you two of them be walking around in the woods at night. And you can't talk to each other without blinding the fool out of each other. Oh well. I'm going to baste this side and then flip it back over. I do want to get plenty of this juice in there. And I don't want to cook this now until it's dry. I like my, I don't like my stuff overcooked. I like my fish well done and I like chicken well done. Everything else you can, uh, as long as it ain't wiggling, it, it, it'll eat. I like my steak. You, if you run running by there, I'll just cut me a big piece off of him, you know. There ain't no need burning a steak up where it ain't fit to eat. And then, yeah, I don't know. If I can figure out how to cut that headlight off on my head, I'd be a rich man. But you just have to go up there and start mashing at them buttons till it does whatever you want it to do. I don't know. They always put two or three buttons up there. And I, I can't find one that's just got one good button on there that I like. They make some of them that's got just one button. I know that, but I don't like them. But now they got smoke my eyes. We're going to let this cook just a little bit, and then we're going to take it off. All right, guys. 
and gal. We got our beaver off the grill here. Man, that's good stuff right there. That's fine eating. Don't let nobody tell you. Don't let nobody tell you that beaver ain't no good. Thank y'all for watching. It like. It's easy. Just down there, mash that little thumbs up button. Hit that. It makes me feel good when you do that. Subscribe, and we'll be back with another one before long. Y'all have a good one. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it.